guys and welcome back to today's video and today we're just going to be doing a makeup routine but with a bit more glam than I usually would so let's get in to the video guys so I'm just going to use this MUA um, base primer so we'll just put some on at where I like to do it put some on your own like that and spray rub it on like that by the way i've dampened my beauty blender already because i don't know about anybody else but i can't blend when um my beauty blender is not wet so i like to do that and I, for the price this is this primer i feel like it is really really good and it does make my makeup stay on for a lot longer. So this is the Makeup Academy Primer. Pro Base. And also, ah, oh, my knee. Sorry about that, guys. And also, we're going to use a bit of this Barry M Hydro Fix Primer Water. Do you want to see that there? I think this is about 4 99 from Superdrug Drugstars. Right, that oh, smells really refreshing. And it is really refreshing. So I'm just gonna just pat that in a little bit. Right, and now let's get into our foundation. So the foundation I like to use is this one by Rimmel. It's called Match Perfection by Rimmel London. And I feel like everyone raves on about it, and so do I now. Just gonna square it onto the back of my hand. And then use my damp beauty blender. I'm just gonna put little dots all over my face just to cover up them them old blemishes here and there. So once I've done that, I'll come back to you guys. I've covered my face in like dots and whatever. So now I'm just going to um blend it all in. So I just like to uh, I don't really know what I'm doing really. I'm just sort of blending into my skin like this. Dab, dab and dab. So I'll come back to you when I've done all that. I think that's all blended in. And I do look a bit white at the moment. But we're just going to do that thing. So now we're going to move on to... Um, Got it now, hang on. Um concealer. Why did I forget that? I do not know. Well anyway, I'm gonna take this collection last imperfection um liquid concealer and let me just tell you something before I move on to this. Right. I tried out this my fake my perfect colour PS liquid concealer and I think I like it better than this one, but I don't know, so I'm going to use this one um, for this look because I think it's more coverage. But this one is very easy to blend. This Primark one, I bought it for another video that you'll see next time. And so I'm just going to place this underneath my eyes, and I do triangles like this, but then I sort of take it up there a little bit, and yes. I do it like that and let me do the other side and I'll blend you in. Popped it all over my face now and I just want to say the only thing that I don't like about this um, concealer is it is quite hard to blend and I feel like it's, it, it's very good coverage like it's really really high coverage but I feel like it's really hard to blend otherwise you get it, like goes very patchy and I don't really like that see it's taken me a while to blend right I'll come back to you once I've done all of that guys I've blended all that in it lurky took me about 10 minutes to blend that in and to be honest with you it's not actually blended in much anyways now but we're just gonna do it you know right now I'm moving on to highlighter which yes I 
do move on to that after concealer and I'm using the Kylie Jenner in the shade King highlighter so yes let's see how that goes the only thing I don't like about this highlighter is hang on it's in like a little pot and it's really really hard to like put it on without spilling it everywhere so I'm trying to like do it without trying to spill it right so I'm just gonna pop this there wow guys can you see that obviously I'll blend that out a little bit <laughs> so I don't make it as harsh right well, let's do the other side I think I need to put more on that side I think I definitely put a little bit too much on the other side but we're going with it we have to make it equal now don't we right now we're just gonna put a little bit on on our nose oh my god that's a big minute I actually really love this one and out on our cupid's bow right beautiful right now i'm just gonna make this not as harsh so i'll see you when i've done that there we go it's not as harsh now because nobody likes a harsh one uh i didn't tell you what brush i was using i was using the real techniques um domed shadow brush for my highlighter i feel like that's more of a good uh, what's the word i don't know but a good like thing to do your highlighter with anyway right what should we move on to next guys now we're just gonna put a little bit of this MUA makeup academy pressed powder just on my forehead a little bit because i've just seen it's a little bit patchy so we're just gonna put a little bit of that just on my forehead just to make it just a little bit not not going over the um highlighter too much just put it on your face a little bit because then this makes the highlight not much harsh than it should be right anyway um what should we do next right i'm gonna use the w7 candy blush the uh, the lids actually broke on this but it doesn't really matter anyway i'm just gonna get a bit of Right, it's very good pigment on this. I would recommend this blush. I've literally had it a while now and I love it so much. It's so nice. Right, I think that's enough, but it's re it's really looking nice at the minute, I think. Anyway, let's move on to eyebrow. Right, for my eyebrows, I'm going to be using the Revolution Focus and Fix palette. You can't really see because I've had it that long now, but that's what it's like inside. And I'm going to use the shade that, well, the second darkest one. Second tall darkest, I mean. And just get a little bit of that. Right, I can't do my eyebrows on camera because it goes wrong each time. So I'm just going to turn the camera off and then show you then. Okay, so bye-bye. My eyebrows are done and... actually forgot to do inner corner highlight on my eyes so I'm just gonna do that real quickly and then I'll come actually forgot to do inner corner highlight on my eyes so I'm just gonna do that real quickly and then I'll come back I've just done inner corner highlight and now I'm going to move on to contour so I'll see you then right guys I don't know whether to use this palette or these bronzing drops by benefit I don't know. I don't like this one because it makes my skin go a bit orange, so 
I think I might use this gloss one. Um, I'm going to use the shade that dark one there. So I'm just going to get a fair amount on that. And then I'm just going to do that. So I'll see you once I've done that. Actually, no, I won't. I'll do it on camera to show you guys how I do it. Right, that is pretty harsh at the minute, but I'm going to blend it all out. So it looks good. I'll just do the other side really quick. But as you can see, it does give off a lot of pigment. So you have to be careful when using this one. I got this for Christmas actually, you know. Right, now we're going to do a forehead highlight, at uh, highlight, contouring. And put a bit on our jawline too. Right, now I'm just going to make these lines not as harsh. So I'll see you then. Guys, that's not as harsh anymore. It's quite subtle and very nice. And now I'm just going to go in with my trusty eyeshadow primer from NYX. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. Right, there we go. Just put that much on. And then I'm going to get my fine brush, which isn't too... Uh, what's the word? Hmm. What is the word? I'll come back and tell you the word. I got too small, I was meant to say. Right, anyway, so I'm just going to put my trusty um, brush, Real Techniques, into this eyeshadow primer. And it is quite dewy, but that's what I like about it. So it mixes quite well on my hand. And yeah, I just love it. So I'm just going to pop some on my eyelid. And I'm going to come a little bit closer now because I'm doing my eyes. So yeah, I'm going to show you once it's all done. I'm going to do the other side. Alright guys, that's all on and... I feel like today it's a bit dewy, like a bit too dewy if you know what I mean, I do like a dewy one but it does get harder as you blend, not a harder, sorry, um, uh, more stable if you know what I mean. Right, so I'm just going to grab a nickel wipe, get it off my hand so I don't put it anywhere and we're going to go in with either the... I want it all by Carly Jenner or this massive revolution palette and I don't know which one to use so I don't know guys uh, maybe we should use right let's have a look at the shades in the Carly one first right so the Carly one has all these shades in. I think I might use a bit of both actually, because I feel like using the confetti shade in the Carly one and then lots of different ones in the Revolution one. So let's get into it. So I'm just gonna go in with this trusty transition shade right there. You probably can't see it, but it's, it's like a nude. And yes, I feel like using that one, so I'm going to use that one, just as a little transition. Right, does anyone else um, get worried when they start doing this? Because I feel like they're going to go wrong. That is me all the time. Well, anyway, I feel like this is a very, very nice um, transition shade, especially with the eyeshadow primer I've put on. Yeah, so I'm just going to do the other eye. Okay, so I've just put that all over the lid. It feels really nice on my lid, especially from that primer. So if you can see that, it's very subtle. Just a nice little transition shade. And I think I'm going to do a little bit of a smoky eye-ish. I don't really know. So I think I'm going to be using quite a lot of matte shades. And the shade I'm going to use in my outer corner is that one right there. It's a bit dark. 
but that's what we're going for. So let's try this on the outside of my eye. Oh my goodness me. Right. I sort of like that, I think. I'm going to obviously do it more um, detail um, and use quite more, quite a lot of colours to like transition this into a nice lovely jubbly shade. So I'm just going to carry on doing that, blending that in and then I'm going to come back to you. So I've just done that and I feel like I'm going to go for a bit of a halo eye today because that's what I'm feeling. So yes, um, I think I'm going to just um, blend these two shades in with a nice little nude, sparkly nude, that one right there. So I'm just going to do that and I'll get back to you. I'll do a little bit on camera. Oh, okay. Okay, that's pretty nice. That is... By the way, I'm not cleaning my brush after doing this. Because I want it to mix in, that's the whole point. Otherwise, I would. But I'm not. So there we go. Right, it doesn't need a lot of um, thingy in. But anyway, right. I'm going to go in with this My Perfect Colour one from Prana because I really wanted to use it in a video to show you guys what it's like and ooh, I'm falling ugh, and what it basically does for my skin. So I'm just going to put a little bit uh, to make that cut crease visible. I'm really sorry, but I can't talk while doing this very well. So I'm just going to hold you guys. Put that concealer in. And now I'm just going to take my beauty blender. And not blend it. I'm just going to press it. Just so it's not as harsh on my eyeball. Right, now that's looking okay. Don't worry, I'm not keeping it like this. I'm just going to blend it a little bit with my brush sorry i pull really weird faces when i'm concentrated so i'm going to get back to you once i've just blended this in i'm not adding any more color onto it remember i'm trying to make that uh, make it like as natural as we can so i'll get back to you soon i've blended that in a little bit and now i'm going to use the kylie jenner palette to <laughs> And I'm going to use the shade Confetti, which is that big one. I always thought it was a highlighter because it was quite big. And I thought that was a blush. But once I used it for that type of thing, I knew what it was. <laughs> and let's just say it wasn't the best thing to use on your eye. On your highlighter thingy, brush thingy. Oh, I don't know. Or let's just put a little bit too much on there. I love this palette, but I feel like I can't use everything because they're just so pigmented for my type of eye. Oh my god, that's gone pink. I didn't want pink. We're gonna have to, gonna have to do the same to the other eye now, aren't we? Sugar. Right, um, we can fix this, we can fix it. Right, I'm just gonna put that palette down and use the Revolution one because this is very, very, very affordable and it has 144 shades in it. Wow, I know. I'm just gonna put this white one in. You don't really need to see that because it's just white, and I'm just gonna put that all over the lid on the um, cut crease to get rid of that pink that I've just put on a lot of beauty gurus do this when they don't do it so everyone's perfect guys 
Well, I'm just going to use the... I don't know whether to go in for a little bit of black with this. Oh, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe we will. We will. We're doing it, guys. We're doing it. Right. Oh, it's on. No going back now, guys. Right. Oh, it actually doesn't look too bad once I've blended it, I think. I think I might have burnt too soon, but we'll soon see. And I'm just going to take this across um, the cut crease as well, just to add that little bit of motivation into it. Motivation, what did I say there? Right. I think I'm liking that, you know. Looks decent. Not too bad. Right, anyway. I think... I'm just going to use one more shade. And that is... L shade now. Sorry guys. Oh, it's very awkward. I'm going to use that shade right there. Right. By the way, I haven't been sat on a stool or anything, so I'm making it very hard for myself to actually sit. Uh, actually, you know that Kylie Jenner thing that I put on my eyes? I think that's made it set quite of a, a rose gold turn on the um, other end of it. It's very nice. I really like that. I look. And now I'm just going to add some eyeliner. Not that I can do eyeliner, but let's try. Right, guys, so I've just added a little bit of winged eyeliner. And now I'm just going to pop some mascara on. And the two choices I've got are, uh, blah, 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 that I'm going to use. And my phone drops. Great. Hang on. One sec. Let's put you back. There we go. Is this... Lash Vegas by Barry M and it's also waterproof so yes and also I've got the mini They're Real Mascara by Benefit which I don't know I think I might use both I might use this for my top one just because it's a bit bit of a longer brush so uh, and also guys life hack you can just go, if you go like that, when you're doing it, it makes your lashes lo loads longer. So I'm just going to do that and then I'll come back. Right guys, now I'm going... Oh, sorry, that's just dropped. Now I'm just going to put, well I've done my mascara. I've put the Bar uh, Barry M one on my top lashes and the Benefit one on my lower lashes. And now I'm just going to put some of this NYX Baked Shadow in the shade Sugar Babe um, underneath my eyelids <coughs> sorry about that guys I'm using my Real Techniques brush for this too I'm just going to pop it in like that and then just blend it down there I should have really done this bef nope. before my mascara but I forgot I actually really love this NYX one. It goes really well with the burgundy one. And I just really like it. It's more of a pinky one. But I feel like that will give us a little bit of pigment. And I've just put it over there. Right. I think my eyes are done. And I don't quite know what to do next. I might just... Oh, sorry. I was just using this silicone sponge. So, yeah. Um, guys, now I'm going to do my lips and I've got all these Kylie Jenner's to choose from and one that Lana. <laughs> so I'm just going to, oh, I don't know which one to pick, so literally I think I lurky have about one, two, three, four, five, six, right, let me come back to you. 21 21 and a lip liner that's a lot and i i've used it in this little ted baker thing 
it's reusable so it's good for the environment sorry about my hair as well i've just shoved it up like this for the video oh my god just made it even worse well anyway um i think i've decided on a shade but if it's not i can always take it off but we are going for god um a night time look so i think i'm gonna use um, oh this is the only I'm on oh, I didn't know I was to use that one God. I don't know if to use the shade Gorge or 20 I think I might try 20 so oh I need to line my lips first I'll just line my lips and then I'll pop that on and then I'll show you the finished look Right guys, so I've now lined my lips and I'm going to pop this lipstick on. As you can see, it's a really nice shade. I think I'll keep this one on. You never know. Right guys, I've put my lipstick on, my liquid lipstick on by Kylie Jenner. And that was in the shade All Nighter. So now I'm just going to top it all off with a bit of... Um, matte finish makeup setting spray by barry m and that's what it looks like and this again this was 4 99 from super drug and i think they'll also do it in boots as well so let me just spray this oh i hate smell a bit but <laughs> but i know it's really good and this Oh, I got my tooth. Um, this um lipstick has already gone matte, so I'm gonna do an up close view on my makeup. So stay tuned. <laughs>